Martin, I will see you in two days. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you. Welcome to Puerto Escondido, Mexico. And today, guys, we're going on a little adventure. We're getting out of town, we're getting out of Dodge because Puerto, Puerto Escondido, as fun as it is, as cool as it is, as a town, there's not a lot to do here on the weekends. And all the things we would have done, we have done. So we're getting out of town, we're going to Oaxaca City for the weekend. I'm going with my two friends, Lindsay and Laura. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Without further ado, let's roll that intro. <laughs> How do you open this? All right, we have Lindsay, Laura, throw up your gang signs to the, to the vlog here. Road trip! Woo! Guys, we have our breakfast, little brekkie sandwiches, travel pillows, positive attitudes, and you're like a six or seven hour, maybe even eight hour drive ahead of us. To get to Oaxaca from Puerto Escondido, it's only like 90 miles, but it takes seven hours because the roads are so like windy and curvy and, um, yeah. All right, cue the driving montage. So we strapped on the seatbelts, hit the pavement, and headed into the mountains for a much needed change of scenery. But unfortunately, it came at a cost. The first half of the trip was filled with these windy, twisty little switchbacks that kept me on the verge of car sickness for pretty much the entire time we were in the mountains. That said, once the road straightened out, it was actually a really pretty, but still, seven hour drive. After a long and grueling seven hour car ride, we are finally here in Oaxaca. That's it, that's the city right behind us. Tonight, we're just gonna chill, relax, probably go get some dinner. But in the meantime, I got my, uh, got the drone here. So enjoy, just for now, a little drone preview and we'll cut back, it'll be, uh, it'll be tomorrow. Good morning guys, we're starting it right by getting a little breakfast. We're at this place called Blue Ankh, which I believe is French. And it is this amazing little restaurant, cool little aesthetic. And I got the little pancakes, and they're delicious and fluffy, and they have this like blueberry jam in the middle. So highly recommend. Uh, but if you do want to come here, you will have to wait in line, so be prepared for that. But trust me, it is well worth it. Um, and yeah, that's it. Anything you want to say, girls? How's the breakfast? Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. amazing? We really don't have any plan today. The agenda is just to kind of walk around and explore maybe the little lost, which I think is the perfect way to explore a city kind of day one when you don't know what's what. I really love the aesthetic here in Oaxaca. It's like these old, colorful, it's a modern city, but like all the buildings are kind of like run down and have this really cool texture and his, like, historic look to it. And it also kind of reminds me of a kind of combination of like a Havana, Cuba and a Cusco, Peru, because all the buildings, they have this like colonial-esque design to it. Loud bus. And so yeah, I'm just super pumped to like get out here and explore and check out a new city that I've never been to. So let's get out there and see what Oaxaca has to offer. Based on a shocking number of recommendations, our first stop was the Stamp Museum. Free to enter, the white stucco building is a labyrinth of rooms dedicated to, you guessed it, stamps. With themed collections of birds, music, sports, and much more including a room full of catalog stamps from around the globe that you can browse at your leisure. If you're looking to kill an hour and don't want to spend any money, the Stamp Museum is a must visit. All right, we are walking through the markets here and lots of cute little colorful trinkets and souvenirs, but I know you're thinking, Stamp Museum? Come on, lame. Wrong. Stamp Museum was not lame, it was actually pretty cool. It was, uh, it was fun. I mean, it didn't take much time to kind of walk through it, but if you got some time to kill, Stamp Museum, it's worth checking out. Just take my word for it. So the cool thing about the time that we are here in Oaxaca is that we're here during Easter. And actually today is Good Friday. And if you know 
a lot of Mexicans are very, very Catholic. And so to come here during Easter, it's just kind of a cool time to be here. And last night we were kind of walking around the streets and you could just see the festivities going on. People pouring out of the churches, people like singing in the streets, and just tons and tons of people all walking around enjoying the Easter weekend. And so it's only appropriate, being Easter, that we go out and check the, the largest church in town. It's called the Church of Santo Domingo. And I hear it is pretty incredible inside. Starting construction in 1575, it took over 200 years to finish the Church of Santo Domingo. And looking at the intricate design and frescoes adorning the ceilings, you can see why. The church is breathtakingly beautiful, filled with priceless artworks and decorated with over 60,000 sheets of 24 karat gold leaf. If you only see one building in Oaxaca, it has to be the Church of Santo Domingo. So one thing I like to do in any of the cities that I go to is kind of go to one of the local hangout spots and like the plazas or like where the people hang out. And right now we're in this place called uh, Zocalo, I believe. And it's just like a big park, it's a big plaza. And the reason I like to come to these kind of places is because it's a melting pot. Like the young, the old, the rich, the poor, they all come here in their free time and they just hang out. And so if you are able to come here and like sit on the outer skirts, maybe at a restaurant, grab a drink and just observe, it gives you a unique perspective into just the people who live in this area. taking a little exploring break right now and I'm not sure if I told you guys this but we are only here for a full 24 hours to explore and that means yeah today was kind of the only day we're gonna get out here see the city which is a shame because there's so much cool stuff in Oaxaca that we're not just gonna have time to see but it's like five or six o'clock right now the girls are taking a little bit of a siesta because we're going out tonight ladies and gentlemen we're going out hitting the town red hitting it hard it's gonna be a ton of fun and we're going out because it is Lindsay's birthday tomorrow happy birthday Lindsay and I'm super pumped because I'm hoping we see some like cool nighttime Easter activities we heard there's a parade uh, but for right now we're gonna hang out I'm gonna cut it here when we cut back we'll be doing fun evening activities all right see you there <laughs> For dinner, we went to a fancy 12 course meal with drink pairing, of course. And I have to say it was incredible. It was my first time doing a meal like this and wow. We then hit the town, stayed up way past our bedtimes and 100% missed the parade. In fact, this is the only footage I got of it. Ah. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, right now I am on the struggle bus. We had way too much fun last night, and now we have to go on a seven hour car ride through one of the worst and windiest roads I've ever been on, which sounds like the last thing in the world I wanna do right now, but that's his life, and I didn't want to end the vlog without sending you off with the proper outro. So hope you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little 24, hour, 24 hours of exploring in Oaxaca. Uh, next time you see me, I might either be in the United States or I might even be in Canada. So lots of cool stuff coming up. Like, subscribe, do all the things. But on that note, guys, the show is over. The vlog is done. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.